what is up guys we're here on my desktop and today uh this video is not normally like the other ones but you know whatever can't really think of anything and i thought this might be helpful to some people who are looking into streaming or want to stream and it's just something super simple to do and it just makes your stream a lot nicer i have it on my um streams when i do it if you've seen my streams before um it's actually really really simple to do uh so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get photoshop up you're gonna go file new uh 1920 by 1080 or you know whatever the resolution of your thing is you know uh, you can set this to white, the background um, contents, but we'll delete that anyways. So now you got your background. Um, so now what you're going to want to do is basically, you're going to look for a picture on Google that's the size of your monitor or whatever you're playing your game in and make sure it fits this. So I am using, I use 1080. So I look for a 1080 wallpaper. So we'll go ahead and download this. Um, we'll just create a new folder on my desktop. Um, uh, Z Tut, you know, tutorial. And we'll do this background. And now, as you can see, I have a bunch of other tabs open. Those are for later. Um, go to here. Uh, then we go to Z Tut, background. So now you can see oh, it fits the background you can delete the wall or this background now now that we have this like actual background and now what you're gonna want to do is um if you want you can do this you don't have to it just makes the picture look nicer uh look for like a kind of theme of whatever you're looking for like color theme so i mean i guess if you were doing this you would kind of want a darker color so you look for um some kind of overlay so as you can see here i got this kind of overlay it's got all kinds of mixed colors so we'll download this you'll see what this will do in a minute here um this uh, i mean this should be the resolution of that but it doesn't have to be but you know just so it doesn't stretch out it does have a watermark there but i don't think that should be too much of a problem um so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the layer of your overlay if you're doing this you click uh the normal thing here click overlay what they do is um as you see here that's a before and after it just makes it look nicer you can also change the opacity so if you don't want if you want more or less of it so that's without it and that's with them. You can get, you can like customize it to whatever you want. I think it looks cool actually with it all the way up. So you can do that. And now the third thing you want to do <clears throat> is get a new picture, um, preferably, or so this is going to be again, the size of what you want the game to be. So 1920 by 1080 is for what I'm going to get. And this could be any picture. doesn't matter what it is. It could be a box of whatever. Um, so you just want to get that, save that picture, do that. You go know, file place, um, get that. And now you're going to want to downscale this while holding shift, by the way. So it keeps the same aspect ratio and it doesn't stretch out. And you're just going to want to place this, you know, if you want the game to be down here, if you want the game to be over here, up here, wherever, in the center, if you want everything to be around it. But place this wherever you want your game to be in whatever size you want the game to be. Because this is going to be the area of your screen or your gameplay or whatever. So let's say I wanted it here, just, uh, I don't know top left here and yet again it can be bigger smaller whatever you want it um just know if you're going to be streaming you're probably going to have stuff down here like uh your name or like a logo um you'll have your chat somewhere uh notifications and all that kind of stuff so just keep that in mind when you're picking the size for your gameplay so i'm just gonna put it here and Next thing you're gonna do, which just in my opinion makes it look personally a lot better, you know, I guess you technically don't have to do this, but it does make it a whole lot better. I mean, that's the whole point of this picture here is get a rectangle tool, draw a rectangle around the image, and then set this up here to this so it makes a hollowed out square. And then as you can see, you've now created a square. You can delete this picture. So that will be the area of your gameplay. Now what you can do with this, the shape here that you made is you can add all kinds of effects. So if you want to drop shadow, you know, you can add a shadow. So, I mean, I don't know if you want to do that or not. I don't have that on mine. If you want to have an outer glow, I mean, I guess you can make that look nice. I mean, that kind of looks nasty in my opinion, but I mean, you could, like, like you said, you could do whatever you want. Um, what I like to do is add a stroke. And if you have a certain theme going with your channel, do like that. So if you have like a purple theme, um, you also can change it to 
I mean, inner, I feel like it's the only one that really does anything. Um, different. Okay. This is just not going to change for some reason. But you know how an outline works. You can get bigger, smaller. Um, or is it center? No, it's definitely inner. Inner just does the, you know, inner of it. But for some reason, it's not changing for me, whatever. So yeah, outside, I like to do like a stroke of like, five maybe so it doesn't look too much it's not like too thick of a line but it's not you know overwhelmingly small or overwhelming be overwhelmingly big that's the word and with that you know you can do whatever you could customize that um also to make a chat box it's literally the same thing so like mine um i guess this would be more space i usually have a bigger area for my gameplay but all you do is you put the square there and you can make it any size you want you can have like a chat box that's that big but I mean I usually do one that's decent length use one that's decent width and you do the same thing you want the purple um, I don't remember what purple color that was um, just so I can get it quicker I'll do that um, you do this you just add this um, color I mean it's literally the same thing uh, I mean I didn't make that obviously lined up with that but I mean this is just an example to show you but uh, what you also can do is get another rectangle so the same rectangle tool um, and actually put a rectangle inside of this this just makes it look a lot better and then except this time have it filled in and then what you can do with this is you can click on this and then give it the opacity and turn that down so you have a tint on the back so you can distinguish the tint box from the um the background i mean this is all like not neat looking obviously i could spend a lot more time making this neater you know lining it up like you should when you actually are making this not making like just a tutorial and if you want you also can do little um so if you wanted like a you know a like um recent follower thing you can make a box there with that there and you know have your stroke and all that you can just do that and you know you can make that as big or as small as you want so yeah i mean and then you can move these wherever if you want it up here if you want it inside the box i mean it's it's really customizable up to you um you can put your name here just put i don't know You do that. Um, that's the. This is the. Um, for this font, that's the font. So you just look that up on Google if you really want that font. I mean, you can really customize this to however you want. I mean, honestly, you can do legitimately whatever you want with this. You can put your logo here. Oh. You can not. I mean, you can do whatever. You can customize this however. You don't have to show this line layout or the exact layout. You could have the chat box up here. You could have the chat box down here. Gameplay can be here. Gameplay in the middle. It's wherever you want it. But this is just like a really quick tutorial showing you how easy it is to make your own overlay. So like, don't don't pay for pay for something when you could like easily do this yourself. Um, I'm not sure if it. I mean, I don't know how to do this on like other programs like uh, GIMP or um what is the other one it's paint.net i don't know how to do it on those but i'm sure it's almost the exact same thing probably if not easier i mean i just find this really easy on photoshop you can get photoshop for free you just look up a tutorial it's not that hard but yeah you can just um save this oh not place file save um and then wherever you keep your um things that save it as a jpeg um, and then just save, just save it. And then you got your, you got your, uh, new overlay just like that. So yeah, as you can see, it was pretty easy to make and it's completely customizable. I mean, you could literally have, you could easily change these out. So if you could, you, if you want, you could just literally save this as a template with your gameplay box, your chat box and your whatever. And all you have to do is just switch these two out and you have that. And like, you can literally put whatever you want in the background there. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you if you're just getting into streaming or new to streaming. I am, so I'm not an expert at all this, but I just thought I'd let you guys know. 
how to make a super simple and easy stream overlay. So yeah, uh, if this helps you at all, leave a like. And yeah, um, I'll see you guys next video.